Flatware made from stainless steel coils is a billion dollar industry. At Sherrill Manufacturing in Sherrill, New York, the coils become more than 50,000 forks, spoons, and knives every day. Though it's the only flatware manufacturer left in the United States, it's one of the most technologically sophisticated in the world. Any flatware you see that has USA on the back stamp, it was made in this factory. We have a lot of automated equipment that allows us to use a lot less labor per piece. If this factory was running at full capacity, we could do about 400,000 pieces in a day. To make a fork, Cheryl typically uses 18-8 stainless steel. That means the steel contains 18% chrome and 8% nickel. The nickel increases the corrosion resistance. It also makes the part easier to manufacture. It's softer, it doesn't harden as fast. When you have 18% chrome and no nickel, the part becomes very brittle. The manufacturing process starts by feeding a 650 foot long stainless steel coil through a 150 ton blanking press. This is the piece that comes out. It's a fork blank. The thickness of the material is 105 thousandths of an inch. From this coil, we can get about 16,000 forks. We'll go through about three of these coils a day, which is 7,500 pounds. After the press, the flat forks continue on to get their tines or prongs. To prevent the resulting prongs from bending, a so-called tine bar holds them together. Then we'll go into a stamping process where we put the pattern into the handle, and then the machine next to that will put the bowl on it. We strike the handle and raise the bowl in a coining press. It's very similar to making a coin, only a lot slower. Those pieces run about 5,000 pieces an hour. Once shaped, machines remove the time bar and delicately buff the prongs. Then the forks pass through an eight-step buffing and polishing machine. After the pieces are buffed, they come to this machine here behind me, which is an ultrasonic wash. It uses detergent and ultrasonic waves to clean them. And then they're able to go into a bag nice and clean for the customer. So our homes are filled with chrome, sometimes by the bag full. <laughs> 